Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and I am going to make a phone call to Claire McCaskill's office and to my own congressman, but first let's try to reach Claire McCaskill and see what she says. Um, so let's see. Let me dial her number. That is 1202-224-1222. Five four. Senator McCaskill's office. Yes, my name is Lonnie Clark, and I live in Eugene, Oregon. But I'm the host of a an internet radio show called The Age of Fission. And I'm actually tape recording this because I'd like to post it on my YouTube page, but. I am calling regarding um, this House Bill 2306 that would require the Secretary of the Army acting through the Chief of Engineers to undertake the remediation of the Westlake landfill oversight. I'm seriously concerned for the people of St. Louis. I know that Senator McClaskill has taken this very, very seriously. I'm wondering if you can give me an update on the status of this bill. I know it was passed out of committee, or that's what the people of St. Louis have told me. Do you know if it's being brought to the floor of the Senate? Okay, the bill that's concerning the Westlake landfill? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I'm actually not knowledgeable, but I can see if a staffer is available to speak with you about it. That would be really awesome. Thank you. So what's your name? My name is Lonnie Clark. Well, it's not an organization or a business. Um, I do have a radio show called The Age of Fission radio show on UCY.TV, and I am highlighting the people of St. Louis every single Monday. I'm interviewing people on my radio show to help them air their concerns and to kind of get updates. Um, I personally feel, you know, I live in Oregon, but I'm frankly heartbroken that this is not considered a national catastrophe like I really believe that we need to seriously help the people of St. Louis immediately. As an American, I believe it's our duty. So I have this radio show, and I'm using that as a venue to maybe bring more attention to this situation so we can get some action on it. All right. You said you were from Oregon? I do. I, I live in uh, Eugene, Oregon, and I my senators are Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley. Thank you, ma'am. We're on hold. They're letting me talk to somebody. So hopefully this video will go through. I've got four minutes or five minutes on a videotape before it, but my little camera will just automatically shut down because I have done this on my cell phone. So if they, if they put me on hold too long, I'm going to have to restart the video feed. But I really want to find out how quickly that this bill is going to get to the floor of the Senate to get voted on. And hopefully they will tell us that it's being introduced this week. That would be a really great thing. And then we can get some relief for the people of St. Louis. And this is, uh, as you've read, to undertake the remediation of the Westlake Landfill located in Bridgeton, Missouri. Senator Roy Blunt and uh, co-sponsor. The other one co-sponsor was Senator Claire McCaskill. So they are working for the people of their state as much as they possibly can. And it's up to us. This is why I'm doing this. It's up to us to get our senators and our elected officials to even be aware that this problem, this is something that's silently going on. And uh, while people of uh, Missouri are being uh, exposed to radiation on a daily basis and being ignored, uh, within one mile of the Westlake landfill, there are 83 homes every single one of those homes have catastrophic medical events happening in their households and uh, as it turns out the Westlake landfill is uh, the nuclear pollution by the Manhattan Beach project is owned by a company called Republic Services 
of which Bill Gates is the uh, major shareholder. And the people of Westlake Landfill Facebook group who are actively engaged in posting this information um, asked his organization to help them remediate and help relocate families only within one mile. And Bill Gates Foundation came back and said, sorry, we can't help you. You're on your own. It's a government issue. So they're kind of being bounced around. And this is why I decided I cannot ignore it as an American. I believe it's our duty to help the people of St. Louis. Uh, the, as we know, the Manhattan Project was actually a very important uh, scientific research. And it's not that anybody did anything intentionally. Uh, it was In those days, people did not... many. Well, the scientific community did know, but they really didn't know what to do with it. And it was found that the NRC illegally sold that dump site to private industry. That private industry sold it its exchange stand so many times. And now because it's a Superfund site, it is being managed by the Environmental Protection Agency, who really haven't done anything uh, about it and have allowed it to fester to the point where now it is right next to a dump site that's on fire less than a quarter of a mile away. So there is a sense of urgency because, uh, you know, these dump sites, it's also the dump site, the Westlake Landfill, is actually also a uh, Superfund site where uh, mega corporations have dumped their waste, like Monsanto, Bechtel. So we've got a huge contaminated Hello. waste. Hello? Hi. Hi. One moment. Sure. Thank you. So we have big contaminated waste going on there, and... Uh, it, they discovered a few years ago that there's an underground fire, like compost often does, as it spontaneously combusts. It's over 300 degrees. It, they're not really sure it's a fire, but it is uh, enough to spark some uh, interaction with the nuclear waste if it meets up with it. So it is a, they do, and the people of St. Louis feel very confident about the actions of the Army Corps of Engineers. They believe that they could better manage the uh, dump site. And so they, right now it's in the hands of the EPA. This legislation is to help them move the uh, responsibility of cleaning up the waste to the Army Corps of Engineers. So that's what this legislation is about. And it's really just a paperwork issue. It just needs to get to the floor of the Senate and to the floor of the House. So... I don't know how long I'm going to be on hold, but, you know, we'll wait. Um, my videotape says eight minutes now, so we'll see if they'll send us to somebody who can actually talk to us and tell us how close this is to getting to the floor of the Senate. And, uh, I mean, maybe it's on the Hello. agenda. Hi. Yes, um, the price is unavailable right now. I can just patch you through to the voicemail if you would like. Yes, I would like that, because I'm really just looking for some update on how... Do you know if this is getting close to the being submitted to the floor on the Senate? Ma'am, I, ma I don't. Um, okay. I can just pass you through the voicemail. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Hello? 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 Not available at the moment, but please leave me a message and I will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Feldman. My name is Lonnie Clark. I am the host of a radio show called The Age of Fission radio show on UCY.TV. And I'm actually recording this phone call. I thought I should let you know. I am going to be posting uh, this videotape up on my YouTube channel, which is Nuts for Art, N U T Z F O R A R T. And really what I'm doing is calling to see if there's an update to see how close we are to getting this Senate Bill 2306 to the floor of the Senate so it can be voted on. I'm extremely concerned about the citizens of St. Louis. I know that they are very grateful to your office for moving this legislation forward. I am calling because I'm hoping that you're going to call back and tell me that the legislation is on the floor of the Senate and that you expect that this will be passed before Christmas. 
which would be a really a great Christmas present to the people of St. Louis, as you well know. So my phone number is 541-337-4664. And you can give me a call. That's my cell phone. You can give me a call anytime. I really do appreciate all the hard work Senator McCaskill and Senator Blunt have put into this issue and hopefully we can get the Army Corps of Engineers to start remediating the problem in a more effective manner. So I appreciate your phone call back, and uh, thank you for all your hard work. Have a good day. Bye-bye. So there you have it, YouTubers. Uh, we got put on hold for a long time, and then we got sent to a voice box. So I'm going to post this up. And uh, we'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.